touch no him. No yeah. At all, but Bilal seems to be like his crypt tonight here, you know, yeah. Bilal taking it. I believe more, if, you, if you look at the head-to-head -head between Bilal and JDCR, it yeah. seems to always favor Bilal, but like you said, this is JDCR of old now. JDCR seems to be like he's finding his way, he's finally just dragging off, and you know, he's coming back here, but let's see what's gonna happen. Bilal's gonna have the answers. I'm sure he's gonna go with the dragon off. Yes, oh no, I think it's not the Dragonov, he's going to go with the Brian, sorry. Yeah, Brian, yeah, so Bilal with the Brian and JDCR with the uh, Dragonov. Most likely that's what we're going to see. And Brian is another, you know, fun character to watch. He's a fun I really character. And you play him a bit as well. I right? did play him a bit, and, you know, he got some of those nice buffs, especially one of the things now that takes the scaling off work when you do the taunt. So yeah. if you've got that execution, you know, you're going to net huge, huge damage here. But, you know, Dragonov in this game is a pressure monster. I, I, I said it yesterday that sometimes you can... You can be playing Tekken and, and I really feel and I really believe that sometimes you can just be dragging off. That's yeah, what it is, you know. Yeah, his his pressure is scary, you know. <laughs> you got the quarter circle four that is yeah. just it, it, you know, it, it really locks you down and then once yeah. you get the running twos going, the down twos, it can be a real push pressure monster. Do you know what? Yeah, do you know what's interesting though as well? Bilal, um, when I was speaking to him before as well, I, I asked him, I was like, you know, we were talking about Brian, I was like, you know, taunt your upper with uh, Brian, you know, is it, is it difficult for you? And he's like, oh, this stuff's easy, man. And I was like, what about the taunt knee at the wall? He's like, yeah, that's that's easy mode. And then I said, are you gonna are you gonna do it against JDCRs or maybe? And he's like, yeah, of course, man. It's like as soon as I have some as soon as I have some space and I feel confident, I'm gonna run up and taunt you up for him. So let's see if I he mean, actually it does it that, that today. actually happens. You know, that's stuff this like is that is, is confidence. It's confidence when and you know when sometimes it, there's certain moves in Tekken which I feel like when you get hit by it, it really kind of like demoralizes you. It, it brings you a little bit. The downpour to electric Kazuya is the most it's demoralizing stuff ever. It, it just kind of makes you reel back in your seat and put, puts doubt on yourself. And yeah. definitely if he does run up to yeah. a taunt jump, I'm sure, you know, it's going to play in the mind of JDCR. But let's see how this goes. You know, we said it before, Bilal normally has JDCR's number here, but like you said, this is a new and reformed JDCR looking like his old self. Yeah, Pakistan wow. versus South Korea here. This is going to be very explosive for both players. You know, off the bat, and I love this, JDCR, you know, he's meant to be a defensive player, but here, you know, super aggressive. I mean, Ready, 10 seconds gone, and look at the buttons he's pressed down to. I told you, Dragonov is a pressure monster. Once he gets going, it's hard to get him stopped. Down for one into down for one, not letting Bilal get anything started. Wow, that was that was really good stuff uh, by JDCR. Super aggressive there at the beginning. Really nice step on the down two, but doesn't do anything with it. He gets caught pressing the button. Oh, okay, oh. taunts. I oh. thought we were going to see a taunt jump for there. That was so funny. Even the crowd went, oh, I did it as well. <laughs> I wanted to see it. Okay, nice. Little side steps there. Okay, also go for the heat. Spends it. Yeah, I agree. That's going to be a chunk of damage as well. He's probably going to use heat smash very soon here. Okay, cool. Circle back one. Catching the count here. It's going to net huge damage. He's going to go for the... Yep, he activates to extend the combo. Where's that wall? Okay, just shy of the wall. This is where it's scary. You know, Brian with his taunt and back against the wall. But needs to be very careful because Dragunov still oh, have heat. We tried the taunt there. You know, he, he seems confident. Yeah. No, that's oh going to win. It was a little oh, bit off accident. Wait, wait, that's not going to no. work either. He's going to wake up in time. Oh. Gets the correct punish there. That is crazy. Bilal just takes a sip of water there. He's ready. Yeah, what an incredible match we have here. That side wall strike was a bit unfortunate, but catching him with the flow. Let's go into this round. Carrying him towards the wall. Yep. Nice damage there to start things off. Oh, he's he's, cr he's crashing in his face. Oh, see what he does. Okay, nice sick. while standing one there from Bilal. Not taking any of that shenanigans. Here we go. I'm going to optic go to the heat to extend the combo. I respect it, though. You know, activating heat there. He's going to carry on his pressure. Okay, running three. More pressure. Hatchet. Oh, he's testing his throw break. Always a good thing to do as well. Nice. It hits him before he can get the move. And he oh sidestepped. Oh, he tracks! Oh yes. He side what happened there? He sidestepped and then he pressed a button into it. So he probably expanded his hurt box. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Bilal, one round away. Taking game one here. Okay, crucial break on the throw. Okay, going to get a punch here. No, just dashes oh. up in his face. When he's had dash up pressure. Good okay, throw break. Yeah. Yep. And this is how, you know, what happened before as well. Gets these little floats here. Okay, obviously just blow the floor up. Doesn't want to deal with that from Bilal. Yeah, nice damage. Again, another throw, but that was great positioning. Put JDCR's back against the wall. Oh my god. Both players just trading so much. Oh my god, look at the little pickup there. Be careful, his back's against the wall. Oh and my god. That is guaranteed. Here we go, big combo. Big damage, man. Look at the combo below. Okay, just keeps it. Once the Oka's oh again. Yeah, my that's god, gonna. Bro. It's not gonna be the round just yet. Oh. Spends the heat there. That. Great from Bilal. Wow, Bilal, his hands are shaking a little bit. Yesterday they were shaking more, but today, you know, he's more composed. And, and you can see it there, um, you know, Bubsy. I was about to call you Ryan there again, but I said that. <laughs> to call you Ryan, but yeah, you know what? The, you can see it there. The way that he's playing, it looks like he's very, very confident in, in himself and in, in his reads. 
Yeah, he's even like uh, towards the at the end, you know, dropping the combo and actually just going, uh, you know, more for the Oki. I'm gonna go for this torn Oki here because I know that in this kind of situation, if you wake up if I get the torn, it's gonna put you in a really bad situation. Eh? Spending the Snake Eyes straight, yeah. and then it was just literally, you know, guess for game situation on your wake up. Yeah, it's great to see, man. You know, he's playing really well, and you know, maybe he is, you know. <laughs> The kryptonite here, you know, of JBCR. Really JBCR's really been playing so well, and look at him. He started very well. You, see, you saw him with, with a lot of the pressure it was dragging off. It just seemed like Bilal was able to weather the storm and actually get the game to slow it down to his kind of pace. Let's see what happens in game number two. Let's see if JDCR can make a comeback here. You're already bullying him to the walls. That's the thing with those running twos. They actually push you towards the walls where you do not want to be. Yeah. That's what he's doing here. Yeah. Okay, look, just look at this pressure. Just down jabs out of the pressure. Doesn't want anything to do with it. Just JDCR being relentless here. Yeah, it seems like when JDCR starts playing like very aggressive, it seems to work like it's in his favor. No throw break there, very uncharacteristic. Keep down for two for Okazemi. Oh, nice okay. back, back one there for plus frames. Okay, just, just really, I think, gonna spend it, make sure it's safe. 1 1, down forward one. Catching Bilal again, probably trying to get in orbit. Like, Bilal's looking like he's going for the orbit hills. Like, a couple of times now that JDCR has been pushing those small buttons there in his face to actually catch the flow. Yeah, the 3 plus 4 there. Down for one, just threatening with those down for one. Nice one for there from that JDCR. You see JDCR, one single backdash there and then punish. Sometimes a single backdash is, is so important in Tekken. Okay, he's gonna get it for no. Okay, he's very, very patient there. Didn't want to press the button just in case Bila went for the string. Yeah, JDCR is more hesitant here. You know, you can see like he's not pressing as many buttons as he was before. Bilal's gonna definitely take advantage of this. Okay, nice there. Catching Bilal was actually gonna charge it up in that situation. JCR still has heat there, no runs out both players. No hey, heat available. Jabs down for one pressure. Oh my god, Bubsy, this is close, this is tense, 20 seconds remaining. Hey, he's using that jab pressure again, one, two. Trying to catch for the count here with the four, three, doesn't charge it up this time. Oh. Nice side step from JCR. Oh, I can't watch this anymore. Okay, I can't watch, 10 seconds, Bubsy. Okay, nice, stuck on the throw. Bilal, but pressure. Okay, Corsa, hatch it. Oh back one, hatch it again, oh back my one, god, no. hatch it. One second remaining in JDCR. That was a really stressful situation for sure. You know, you had to guess there. He was locking down with the plus frames. Okay, hatch it again. Down for one, one, one. Yeah, okay, JDCR down. definitely playing a lot better right now. Okay, nice. Down for one. Trying to check that little snake dash there. Gonna get a punch there. While standing one, that's not dark the second yeah, here. Yeah, he lets the down for one rip there. Yeah, that could have been huge for Bilal. Okay, that's gonna be counter hit. Running two, but needs to get his back away from that explosive. Oh, that's going to hit. That's definitely going to hit. He pressed the button there. Bilal really good. Stops the aggression there. Stops the bleeding. And that's going to you know, put him in a better situation. Yeah, it's a better situation. Going to get back some life here. Going to take away all the Dragon's Grey life as well. Bilal still has heat as well. You know, he can yep. just then pop straight away. Safe activation. Oh, my God. The trade. The heat dash. Down jab. Nice. Hey, Joe's are using the down jab. Knowing that Bilal was going to pressure after that. Bilal looking up. JDCR. Looking very, very strong. Look at him. This is like we said, JDCR looking like the JDCR. Well, you've got John Ding actually coming yeah, up to coach John him Ding, as well. That's sick, you know, John Ding and JDCR there, you know, combining there. And you've got Bill as well, has his coach, you know, telling, yeah. him, telling him, look, even Sefi Black there, uh, you know, coaching Bill It's actually interesting because we were speaking about this yesterday. A few people actually don't believe that if, if the players won, you should actually coach him. Just let them, because they're obviously doing something like let them, you know, just relax oh, if they and get won. back into it if they won. But maybe John Ding just actually spotted something in Bilal's gameplay. Yeah, sometimes all it takes is one thing to, to change the, the whole game, right? Something that you don't see, like at the heat of the moment when you're, when you're you know, in the game, it, it's difficult to sometimes spot something extremely obvious. And these guys, you know, Sefi Black is giving him, uh, you know, like they're saying, that's it, the time's up, man, time's up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, time's up, man, he's, he's gone. I like that John Ding playing referee as well. Yeah, yeah. Nice one, John Ding. Big shout outs both John Ding and Sefi Black there. But. At the end of the day, Bubsy, it comes down to those two players and what they can do here. Three rounds is all it's going to take to yep. go into top eight winners. Yes, side. like I said, this is a qualification for top eight winners. What is going to happen? We said it before that Bilal seems to be JDCR's kryptonite, but this is the JDCR of new. Let's go. Oh, the stage though, you know, the, the walls are a bit harder to get to. Yeah, here. they're a bit further. You can reach them. You know, JDC, um, Dragonov definitely got some good wall carry. And Brian is also kind of known for his wall carrying too. Okay, Hatchy kick starts with Hatchy win that pressure. Yeah, I like that. Bilal, you know, retaliating here as well. Not letting JDCR just press all the buttons he wants. The running twos there as well. Good sidestep, gets a single jab. I just like it, just pain in his face. Nice little sidestep there with the down forward two. Now, if he gets the correct combo, he's going to spend the heat here. Yeah, I think this could be dead with I the right combo, right? Yep. 
Gonna keep it nice and simple. Yeah, great usage of heat there to make sure he closes out the round. Yeah, JCR playing so well here. Okay, back one using those down for one, trying to keep JCR in check. Okay, full crowns just going for them down for one, just really playing at that range one, not letting Bilal get anything started. Yeah, and I think against Brian, this is really important. You know, Brian's stronger moves are a bit slower, right? So that's yes. why he's using jab, down forward one, you know, very quick moves, and it seems to be working out here. Spring okay. kick, very risky. Okay, one three. Okay, Obster get the heat gauge. Nice oh side for there, Dan. This is definitely gonna be the round. Gonna keep the couple nice and simple. JDCR here. I think that's five rounds straight. Yeah, JDCR's really woken up here. One more round that he moves on, sends Bilal into that loser's bracket. What does Bilal have? Okay, he's gonna get punished here. Yeah. One, two, crouch dash, four. But bro, the way that JDCR's playing is kind of mad though, man. Though. <laughs> like, look, just looking at running. Yeah, running too pressure, just to not letting Bilal get anything started. Back to that, you know, zero range tech and just not letting him get anything started. But absolute masterclass in how to play Dragon Off. Look at the pressure as well. Look at the sidestep. Look at everything. Gets a little punish there with the two, three. Bilal needs oh. something happening here. Big low parry. Yeah. That's definitely going to change things here. He's going to go for the heat. Yes, nice. Activation there. What's the okay, back one. What's that pressure? Okay, Spends the heat for more Just pressure. Here. Break. Nice. Oh. Whiff punish here with a 4 2 1 string. Spending the snake eyes, making sure that the round is. Pubsy, even out of tense here, just watching this game here. Okay, using that down forward one, trying to catch JDC up pressing. Okay, cold circle back one, wanted the pressure. Oh my god, down two gets blocked, doesn't no, punish that correctly. is the wrong punish. Okay, he lets the string rock. JDC are taking a bit more risk there, goes for the lows. Okay, back one again, plus frames. Nice, wants to alleviate all that pressure, activates heat. Nice, oh duck god, there, finally. We see a duck in the back, 4-3. Yeah. It's gonna be a huge combo. Yeah. Again, okay. activates heat. Okay, what's close to the wall here as well, goes to the low. He spins the heat, wants the pressure, has to kick again. No way, no way we're going to a final round. Down oh one, my one, god! One, one, two, confirmed it. We are going into a final, final round here. Bro, this is so tense, everyone is tense here. What a low parry to start things off. Big, big, huge read there from JTR, carrying him towards the wall. Okay, nice throw break there, very, very crucial. Full crouch, one, four. Oh my god, just dashing in his face below. Just Full crouch, to, one, four again. He's trying to be defensive here. Okay, nice, good punish there. Look at this pressure. Okay, 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Gonna get something started. Oh my god, he activates heat here. That's good a good option. Okay, great throw break here. Down for one, just playing the back at out zero range. Bro, I can't watch this anymore. This is so close. Nice. That's a great hack. He activates the course. Circle one, one plus two. Spins the heat. What's the mix up here? Oh, Goes for the hatchet out. kick. Oh my god, what's that? The four and Bilal takes it over JDCR there. Final round situation. Incredible games. He moves into top eight. Win aside, Bob.